episode of the Android Apps Weekly show is brought to you by Tangram Productivity Browser. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Handy, the Android Authority App Guy, and welcome back to the 107th episode of the Android Apps Weekly show. Let's get right into it. Google has released three applications aimed directly at Android Marshmallow. Two of them deal with MIDI sounds, and the third one is a direct share application. They're not in the Play Store, but are more like examples for other developers. Google has also announced that they're now selling Google Play gift cards in India. While this doesn't necessarily fix the problem of not allowing people to use debit cards, it should help alleviate the problem a great deal. They're available in select retailers and online at snapdeal.com. Earlier this week, the Russian Federal Anti-Monopoly Service decreed that Google must unbundle Google apps from devices so that it only ships with Google Play. This would ostensibly allow users to choose their own applications instead of being pressured into using Google services. The long-awaited Minecraft story mode game from Telltale Games now has an official release date and it's October 15th of this year. We've seen trailers and Telltale has a good reputation for making awesome games. Prepare your wallet folks because this one is going to be awesome. Mark Zuckerberg announced this week that Facebook will be getting a dislike button. Unfortunately it won't be used to show distaste but rather to show sympathy because Zuckerberg doesn't want Facebook to turn into a site like Reddit. It's in testing now, so it's not far away from being released. For even more Android apps and games news, updates, and new releases, don't forget to check out this week's newsletter, which is linked in the video description below. There we'll have all the stuff we didn't have time for here. If you're so inclined, you can also sign up using your email address in the written companion, which is in the video description below as well, and we'll send this straight to your inbox every single Friday. Hey, while you're at it, don't forget to check out our Twitch channel. We hang out every now and again, play some games, chat it up, and have some fun. We're planning our next stream at Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and yes, I will actually be there this time. Click the link in the video description below to check it out. Okay, folks, let's take a look at the apps and games that made a big splash this week. As usual, if you want to check any of these apps or games out, you can find those links in the video description below. First up this week is Chariot. Chariot is a console game that first made its appearance on Xbox One and PS4, but now it has been ported to Android. You play as a princess and you're tasked with carrying a funeral wagon through all kinds of scenarios. The graphics are colorful and well done, the controls are simple to learn, and the game has a ton of dark and quirky humor. The only problem is that it's an Nvidia Shield console exclusive. Game Lofts Order and Chaos Online was one of the most popular MMORPGs to grace the Google Play Store, and now Order and Chaos 2 is out. There are a lot of the same elements as the first one with co op gameplay, PvP battling, and plenty of hero combinations to choose from. Gameloft has expanded on the campaign mode with a metric ton of things to do, and the graphics got a slight boost as well. It's free to play with in-app purchases and has favorable reviews so far. Nibblers is the latest game out of Robio and the first since they laid off about a third of their employees a few weeks ago. This is a Candy Crush style match three game with a combat component where you must match three to defeat bad guys. It follows a simple story of fish battling lizards much like the birds battled the pigs in Angry Birds. The graphics are colorful and this game is good for kids as well as adults. It's free to play if you're interested. Oh boy, Apple released their first application to the Google Play Store and surprise surprise it's an application aimed to get people away from Android. The application works pretty much as the name implies without too much of a hassle so if you actually need it for its intended purpose it does work well most of the time. Hilariously the Android community has responded in kind if a bit predictably with a sea of one star ratings making this the most hated application since Facebook Home. Welcome to Google Play Apple, enjoy your stay. Last up this week is a new application out of Microsoft called Send. This is an email application that tries to treat emails like instant messages to give it more of a natural, quick, and ergonomic feeling. This is similar to an application we looked at a while back called WeMail, so if you've used that, you kind of know what this is like. Unfortunately, it's invite only right now, so if you want to check it out, you'll have to get in line. Thanks again for watching the show, everybody, but let's get down to some serious business. This week's Android Apps Weekly is sponsored by Tangram Productivity Browser. This browser features a sleek and clean interface where you can browse the web unencumbered by the traditional features that tend to bog down the other browsers. Included is a web section that shows you the sites that you have open. You can then swipe those over to your stack to save them for later or further organize them, and then you can swipe them over one more time to the bookmarks to save them for good. It features some material design elements along with features to annotate, capture, highlight, organize, and group websites together for a better browsing experience. It really is honestly very good, so give it a shot and show your support for the Android Apps Weekly Show. Once again, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy. Why you're here, why not subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel? If you're hanging out for a minute, we have a couple of awesome videos for you to watch right over there, and they're also linked in the video description below for you folks on mobile. Finally, don't forget to check out the written companion, which is in the video description below. Don't forget to sign up for that newsletter, and don't forget to check out our Twitch channel. As always, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.